Hey y'all, this is Miss Marshall. I just coming to y'all today just to to give some words of wisdom. Okay? Now, I'm not one to put my business on social media or even my thoughts, but I was watching Judge Maybelline this morning and something just hit my spirit. This little girl about eighth grade, you know, she came on there and she said that there was this little boy that all the girls like at the school. And one day while she was passing by on her bike, he asked her if he could ride it. And she said, um, you can ride it, but as long as you can ride up the street and bring it right back. That little boy got on that bike and took off on it and said, look, it's my bike now. And stole a little bike. You understand know what I'm saying? So now they're in Judge Maybelline Court. Parents just, just scribbling and talking amongst each other, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. Now, my thing is this. As the little girl said, he was popular. She had a crush on him. And, you know, we oftentimes as young women, little girls, and oftentimes old-ass women, will put out there anything we can to kind of take this men we have interest in and reel them in. And all the while, he ain't got no interest in you, but he going to take what you provide to him. That's what I call low-hanging fruit. Don't you be no low-hanging fruit. You don't know what low-hanging fruit is? Okay, let me explain it to you. Low-hanging fruit. You got a nice tree. Yeah, I'm from California. Now I'm in Texas. In California, we had all kind of trees. You know, we had the apple trees. We had the pomegranate trees. The orange trees. Those were spectacular the orange trees. That low-hanging fruit is the first to fall off. It ain't all that good. The rain ain't gonna get to it as good as a high-hanging fruit. The sun ain't gonna hit it just right. So it's the first to fall to the ground. Okay. That's what all the creepy crawlers, the worms, the lizards, the ants. That's what they get to, the low-hanging fruit. Now that high-hanging fruit ain't easy to excess. Okay. That's the birds and, 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 and the squirrels that take the time to get up there to get that high-hanging fruit. The high-hanging fruit is very delectable. It's one that they all want. But it's not easily acceptable. You understand what I'm saying? So, you got a choice. You're going to be the twerking, working little heifer. I think it's going to be the low-hanging fruit. Are you going to be that high-hanging fruit? The one that's proud. The one that everybody wants. I'm going to tell you something. I'm a grandmother and a mother. I tell my grandbaby, I tell, ain't no twerking in here. If I see even thing, anything that look like a possible twerk, I'm shutting it down. You're going to pull out some books, honey, because you're going to be the high-hanging fruit. You understand what I'm saying? And for you low-hanging fruit heifers, Get your stuff together. Ain't no time for no low-hanging fruit. If that man wants you, he gonna go high and low to find you. Just don't be low. Understand what I'm saying? Peace out. Hmm.